When the ground shakes, it can structurally change the surface of the earth. Melbourne studios are currently shaking. We are currently yeah. going through an earthquake. Our building is... Yeah. Whoa. Oh, I've never had an earthquake in here before. Australia sits on one stable tectonic plate and not on a fault line. But every week, around 40 tremors hit parts of Australia and around 700 reports of tremors are made each year. The Australian plate extends around the Indonesian archipelago, through the southwest Pacific, into New Zealand and near Antarctica. This plate is under pressure from the Eurasian plate to the north and the Pacific plate to the east. Most earthquakes will happen at the intersection of these plates, but the pressure of plate movements can cause interplate fault lines. Dr. Seema Masami, seismologist at the Australian National University, says you can think of Australia as being one big pavlova. If you push the sides of this pavlova, you'll get cracks anywhere on the top. The biggest cracks will be near the sides where there's the most pressure, but there will also be cracks forming around the top as well. landmark cathedral was continuing to collapse after the shaking stop. Earthquakes can occur anywhere in Australia, but some regions are more prone to tremors. Mountains tend to be a good indication on where seismic activity has taken place in the past. So Australia's most active earthquake areas tend to be around the Adelaide Hills in South Australia, the Northern Territory, and along the Great Dividing Range between Melbourne, Canberra and Newcastle. Australia's largest onshore earthquake was a 6.6 .6 magnitude tremor in Tennant Creek, which hit on January 22nd, 1988. And one of the most fatal earthquakes was the Newcastle quake on December 28, 1989. It killed 13 people and caused $4 billion worth of damage around the city. Here, race back, get into the car, don't worry about me, I'll follow you. Get those bricks, super. Yep. Well, this is Beaumont Street, Hamilton, just minutes after the blast or the explosion or the earthquake, and it looks as though a bomb has hit. Bombs have hit all along here. It's like a war scene. People are standing around just dazed. There has been some loss of life, it appears, and buildings all up and down the street have just collapsed into the roadway. On average, Western Australia tends to have the biggest tremors and is also prone to earthquake swarms. An earthquake swarm describes when a cluster of earthquakes hit all at once. In a normal earthquake event, a main quake will occur, followed by some aftershocks. A swarm can include even hundreds of moderately sized tremors altogether, often followed by their own individual aftershocks too. That's what happened in January 2022, when WA's Great Southern Region was hit by 40 earthquakes over three weeks, including a 4.7 magnitude quake near Wagen. During a magnitude one or two quake, you might feel some light shaking. Damage doesn't tend to occur until the quake hits about 4.5. Once the earthquake reaches above five, that's when you'd expect to see some damage to buildings. But thankfully, in Australia, that is fairly rare. 